who heals all your diseases. Psalm, chapter 103, verse 3. As humbling as this statement is, yet the fact is certain that we are all more or less suffering under the disease of sin. What a comfort to know that we have a great physician who is both able and willing to heal us. Let us think of him a while this evening. His cures are very speedy, there is life in having a look at him. His cures are radical, he strikes at the center of the disease, and hence, his cures are sure and certain. He never fails, and the disease never returns. There is no relapse where Christ heals. There is no fear that his patients are merely patched up for a season, for he makes new people of them. He gives them a new heart, and he puts within them a right spirit. He is well skilled in all diseases. Physicians generally have some speciality. Although they may know a little about almost all our pains and ills, there is usually one disease that they have studied above all others, but Jesus Christ is thoroughly acquainted with the whole of human nature. He is as much at home with one sinner as with another, and he never yet met with an out-of-the-way case that was difficult to him. He has had extraordinary complications of strange diseases to deal with, but he has known exactly how to treat the patient with one glance of his eye. Christ is the only universal doctor, and the medicine he gives is the only true cure-all remedy, healing in every instance. Whatever our spiritual malady may be, we should go at once to this divine physician. There is no brokenness of heart that Jesus cannot bind up. His blood cleanses us from all sin. We only have to think of the countless people who have been delivered from all sorts of diseases through the power and virtue of his touch, and we will joyfully put ourselves in his hands. We trust him, and sin dies. We love him, and grace lives. We wait for him, and grace is strengthened. We see him as he is, and grace is perfected forever. Amen. Thank you.